Good morning. We are going to be looking at a different alternative pronunciation today. But first, we're going to start off with our phase three and phase five flashcards. Let's go. I. Z. Z. Uh, o. Oi. A, ow, yeah, 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 shh, j, 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 e, w, 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 e, ah, good job, keep going, oh, ear, Ah, ow, brilliant. Oh, ah, uh, fantastic. Ooh, and you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fantastic. I, mmm, brilliant. Oh, oi, a, ch, 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 brilliant. Oh, I, E, O, Z, good job, qua, 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 fantastic, your, U and you, E, wa, 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 ooh, ooh, a great job well done you've done brilliantly with those this week now we've been looking at our phase five um tricky words let's see what you can remember from last week mr mrs people oh okay so we've looked at some others this week the first one we looked at was looked. Good job. Now we said we've looked, it has l, uh, k, and then it sounds like a t at the end, but it's not a t. We write e, d, looked. Good job. Okay, we've also looked at, well done, asked. Now our asked has our R, alternative pronunciation at the beginning, ask, and then just like looked, it sounds like a t, but it's actually an ed, asked. And we've also seen, well done, could, could. Now we said that you could read this one as k, ow, all, d, cowed, but that wouldn't make any sense because we know that it is could. Good job. Okay, our new tricky word, our last tricky word of the week is good job. Called. Called. Now again, we have an ed ending for called, but it doesn't really sound like a t at the end like the others. It sounds like a d, but you need to remember to put the e first. So we've got k, a, l, e, d. But we'd never say that. We always say called. Good job. Have a go at writing called down on your whiteboard. Or on your paper, sorry. Let's have a go together. So called starts with a C. A. Double trouble L. E D. That E D ending again. The tricky word called. Good job. That's all our tricky words for this week. So now it's time to turn on to um, learn our new alternative pronunciation. So before we've looked at this graphing and we've learnt that it makes the eh sound. Eh, eh, eh. However, it can also be pronounced in a different way. It can also make an well, let's read, actually first, let's read a word where it makes the eh sound. B, eh, n, ch, b, n, ch, b, 
bench. The word is bench. However, this grapheme can also make an E sound. Can you say E? Good job. Let's have a look at some words where the this grapheme is pronounced as E. Mm, e. The word is me. Good job. B, E. The word is B. Fantastic. R E K E N T frequent. The word is frequent. Brilliant. We've got both our E and our E pronunciation there. Our E and an E. Okay. For this one, I'll give you a little bit of help reading it. We've got a curly cur, but it's not pronounced as a curly cur in this word. It's pronounced as a s. So let's try it with our e followed by a s. R, e, s, e, n, t. Recent, recent. Good job. Again, we've got an e and an e in the same word. Okay, remembering that we've just pronounced the curly cu with a s sound, we're going to do the same here using the E pronunciation for this grapheme. D, E, S, E, N, T, D, E, S, E, N, T. Decent, the word is decent and again we have our E and our E. Good job. Okay, I think that's enough reading words. I think we're ready to read a sentence. Have a look at my sentence at the top of my board and have a go at reading it yourself. Okay, let's read it together. Recently, recently I got a dog. dog. And, and I, uh oh, what's this? My tricky word, called. Called, I, m, him, d, x, t, uh, Dexter. Let's read it all together. Recently, I got a dog and I called him Dexter. Good job. And you all met Dexter on my video the other day as well. Okay, time to do some writing. The first word that I want you to write is the word she. She. Now remember, we are looking at this letter, this grapheme. And we've learnt that it makes the E sound, but it's, ri it's written like this. So with that in mind, write the word she. Okay, let's do it together. She. E. She. Good job. Now let's write he. He. Okay, let's do it together. E. Okay, the next one is refund. Refund. Let's do it together. R. E. A. Uh. N, d. Okay, last one. Let's do recent. Recent. Now remember, when we looked at reading the word recent, the s sound was made by a curly cu. Recent. Let's do it together. R, e, s, a, n. Remember we said that we have our E pronunciation at the beginning of the word and then here we have the E pronunciation of the word, recent. 
I think we're ready now to write some sentences. The first sentence I would like you to write is, can you give me a refund? Can you give me a refund? Have a go writing it now. Okay, let's do it together. Starting my sentence with a capital letter. Can, k, a, n, finger space, you, yep. U, tricky word you, give, g, I, b. Now remember, we mentioned the other day that in the English language, a word never ends in v. So we need to put an e on the end. Can you give me, got my e pronunciation there, can you give me a refund R e my e pronunciation fund a n d now am i asking for a refund or am i telling them to give me a refund i'm asking so at the end i need a question mark good job let's read it again to make sure it makes sense can you give me a refund? Good job. Last sentence that I want you to write. It's quite a long one. She frequently looked in the sky for Venus. She frequently looked at the sky for Venus. Have a go at writing it now. Okay, let's do it together. She starts with a capital letter for the start of a sentence. She and then I've got my E pronunciation. She frequently, rrr, there it is again, E, qu, e, n, t, li. So again, we've got our E pronunciation and an F pronunciation. She frequently. Then we've got our tricky word, looked. Looked. Now I know it's o, u, u. So o, u, kicking cur, look. Now it sounds like a t, looked. Do I write a t? No, I write an e, d, e, d. Good job. She frequently looked in, or well, sorry, at the sky, at the sky for or Venus. We've got that E sound again. E pronunciation of our graphene. V e n us. Now, am I asking if she looks in the sky for Venus or am I telling you? I'm telling you. So at the end, I need a full stop. Good job. And we always read our sentences again to make sure they make sense. She frequently looked at the sky for Venus. Fantastic work, brilliant work on all of your alternative pronunciations this week and I will see you next week for some more. Bye!